Welcome back to your live continuing coverage of Comic-Con 2014 here in New York City. I'm Michael Artsis, thanks so much for watching. Our next guest, a genius, a pure genius. So much so, he's been knighted. Sir Richard Taylor is here from Weta. He <laughs> is the creator of Weta, the founder, creator, creative director as well. It's your genius that has created all of this, and it's amazing, and really helped spawn this industry and kind of pick it up. I know you're not going to necessarily, you're a very humble guy, we've been talking off camera, <laughs> I know you're not going to necessarily take credit for all of this, but the truth is the truth, and we have to speak the truth. And I got to tell you something, I've been to lots of shows, lots of trade shows, lots of everything from the time I was a little boy. I have never seen a booth like yours here. The Weta booth here is unbelievable. Congratulations, it is something, it's a sight to be seen. It's right across from us. I couldn't be prouder to be next to you guys. You've got a like fire-breathing dragon coming out of it. We've got some shots of it that we're showing people. Unbelievable. Oh, thank you. I, I always feel that you've got to give something back to the people that support you, the fans that support you over all these years. And, if you can't uh, deliver lead actors, then you need to deliver beautiful photo opportunity. And that's why we go to the trouble of building things like the Schmaug, like the, uh, the Azog and the, the trolls that we've done before. It looks like it's right out of a movie. I mean, it looks <laughs> like you took the same care that you do for the movies to do this here. No, we, we absolutely do. It's been built by the same people that build the work for the film. and. Uh, we want to make sure that we give it our absolute all if we're bringing something to a con like this. Well, it's beautiful, and if people aren't going to be here, then we're going to show it to them. And if they are coming later in the week, then you got to stop by the booth and check it out. Um, right. It's right next to us. I don't know your booth number, but we're 1032. And basically, I'm not sure either. We're through the. 11th Avenue. 755. 755, yeah. right through the 11th Avenue entrance. Yeah. Um, 20 years, congratulations. Thank you very much, yeah. What was it like starting? I mean, because yeah, well, it, it was kind of... It was a very small start. My wife and I have actually been running a manufacturing company in the film industry for 27 years now, wow. and uh, that really started an area about half the size of this tent. <laughs> but uh, as things happen, you meet other people, they join you, you become a bigger and bigger team. And when we finally met Peter, about 23 years ago now, uh, we, we were running as a model making firm. He was still making his amazing Bad Taste movie with his, uh, in his basement at home. And uh, we just hit it off and decided one day that we would set up an effects company. And 20 years ago, that's indeed what happened. I love effects. I think they're the coolest thing ever. Um, and you have so many props and effects and you know the prosthetics with The Hobbit and everything. Did you ever think it would get to this point? I mean, look where you are now. When you started, I know you, you, you got together and you thought it was going to be something amazing, but did you ever think it was going to be this? No, we never imagined. Just, just the name Weta, we never thought we'd trade on the world stage. You know, the, we, the Weta is an indigenous New Zealand cricket. Wow. And it, it's, an, it's an important creature in New Zealand, but no one knows what it is here. And interestingly, one of the stories I tell in our 20th year book is, uh, I won an award um, about 22 years ago and I turned to my wife after the awards, we were back at the hotel and I handed it to her and I said, darling, we've got to treasure this moment because it can never get better than this. And you know, that, that was our mentality. We could <laughs> never imagine that all this would unfold. So. It's really unbelievable, um, and, and, but you've, it's all because of the work that you've done. I mean, you know, and, and I think that's what's the most amazing thing and the most unbelievable part of it. Um, you guys have just done such a phenomenal job with all the movies. Do you have a favorite part, a prop, an effect that is just your favorite? Yeah, I do. I, uh, my favorite character that we've ever created is Lurtz out of the first film of Lord of the Rings. I, I've just always felt that we got exactly the, the right balance of uh, it's sort of evil creature to human being and uh, the actor that played it, Lawrence McCorey, was such a phenomenal presence in that, in that prosthetic and uh, I just enjoyed creating him and watching him and being part of the team that brought him alive. That's amazing, that's awesome. Um, you guys have really, really come, I mean, so far you know, when you look back at where you started from and where you are today, do you think that that inspires a lot of people? Because I feel like it does. A lot of creators, a lot of people to be more creative. 
It, 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 it has. It's lovely. The, the nicest fan mail that we get, and uh, we get a lot from all over the world. In fact, the last person I was signing for before I walked over here who still had the letter, he pulled it out of an envelope, was someone that I, who, who wrote to me when he was 16 years old. And uh, he asked if I could send him a signature, but I, I sent him a, uh, a book on Narnia. And there it was on the table with my signature in it, and he was getting everyone else to sign it. Wow. And, you know, people repeatedly say how much the films, firstly, and then the behind the scenes documentaries have inspired them to pursue a career in the arts. And to me, that's the most important thing, the love of, of making things with your hands and keeping that going. Do you still work on everything? Do you still have your hands in everything? I do. I'm on the workshop floor about 60 to 70% of the day. Wow. And uh, I love to be part of what we're doing. I can never build anything from start to finish anymore because I wouldn't be able to get it done anymore. But, uh, you know, it, 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 like all things, it's a huge and collaborative team of people. The industry is an amazingly collaborative industry in New Zealand, and no one individual ultimately achieves uh, anything without the collaboration of the team, and that's really how we've pulled it off. I, I think it's, it's amazing. When you start with a project like Lord of the Rings, do you have any idea how big that's going to be? Do you know, or are you sitting there like, this could be pretty big? Yeah, well, we had no idea about how globally big it would get, but we knew what we were up, up for. It was, uh, we took on five departments on Lord of the Rings, wow. and uh, I, I liken it to teetering on a precipice. You, you've either stepped back and, and leave it to someone else, or you've got to leap off, and you, for a period of time, you go into free fall while you find your, your wings and get, 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 catch yourself before you hit the bottom. There had to be some scary moments along the way, like, I, can we really do all of this? Can we pull it off? Were, were there any moments like that? I, to suggest there wouldn't be would be <laughs> arrogant, because, of course, you're, you're, you're anxious. But you, you don't take on something like this without that unabashed enthusiasm and belief that you can pull it off. So uh, I, I, uh, I have confidence always in the team that we work with. And uh, we've been through a lot together and uh, continue. Last year, we did uh, seven feature films somewhere in the world. And uh, you can't take on that body of work without knowing that the team that are with you can deliver uh, what's required by the client. Seven feature films. Yeah. That's yep. unbelievable. Yeah. What about being knighted? I mean, you're Sir Richard Taylor. What is that experience like? Uh, I can't even imagine that. That was, that was be beyond description. I, I was born in Northern England uh, to a a working class family and we immigrated uh, to New Zealand when I was four, lived in a rented farmhouse for most of my uh, childhood and teenage years. So, Is that how you learn to tinker and build stuff? Yeah, exactly. My father had a shed, a one car garage uh, at the front of our farmhouse and uh, I used to dig clay out of a creek on the farm and that's how I learned to sculpt. And um, to think from that, to, to where it is today. But uh, my wife and I do a lot of charity work. We're patrons of the neonatal trust. We do a lot of support work within the film industry around the world, specifically in Asia. And all of this came to the attention of uh, those that decide. So it was That's pretty very, special. very special. We feel extremely humbled by it. And uh, yeah, it's, hard. it's impossible to actually wrap your head around it. So. Do they, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Do they give you like a, one of those metal statues? No, but you do get some, you've got to kneel and you get touched on the shoulder. With the and, sword. Yeah, and you get a very beautiful medallion and it's, wow. it's quite. And Were you able to supply the sword? Uh, <laughs> I, I wanted to supply the sword. That's funny you should ask. Because I was hoping it could be with uh, Andrew from, from Middle Earth. But that would have no, been amazing. It's a ceremonial military sword, I guess. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, what projects, what's the future like and what projects do you have going on well, now? I, tomorrow I fly to Cannes in the south of France because uh, Kids Screen is on at the moment. And uh, we're launching the first episode of our children's television series, The Thunderbirds, which is 
uh, based on the 1960s television series, The Thunderbirds. Uh, my wife and I also run a children's television production company called Pukeko Pictures with our partner, Martin. And uh, we've made Jane and the Dragon and the Wat Wats, and now we're making the Thunderbirds. So that's a great excitement. I love that. I like kids programming a lot, and I think that there's not enough good quality kids programming That's exactly out there. why we got into it. We felt this great desire to try and deliver some beautiful television to the world. How big is, is the is your is your business now like as far as facility wise how big is the facility or facilities well the facilities are significant uh, they spread over multiple buildings uh, Weta Digital I think is in four or five buildings now they've got 1200 staff at the moment we're considerably smaller in the workshop but we run five businesses with our collectibles our publishing arm our television uh, our um, workshop. This all began in a shed. It all all began in an eight-foot square bedroom. Yeah. Do you ever? Do you ever? Uh, did your dad get to see all this? Yeah, my dad is still alive. Oh, and excellent. When I was a kid, out of concern for me, he couldn't really see that there would be a future in the arts. I'm sure we, we, most most kids of my age have heard that. But today he's our biggest fan and awesome. he's very proud. He, he's a aircraft engineer, so our career is a long way from his career, but he also, there's similarity. So he comes and hangs out with me in the workshop. And in fact, I took him to San Diego Comic Con a couple of years ago, and that was eye-opening for him. Very, yeah. very cool. That's really awesome. And, and yes, I think that's a story that gets told a lot. Yeah. Um, so we've got the 20th uh, anniversary book yeah, uh, here. Yeah, right. this is, we, we've got, we sell a lot of things at our stand, but this year we're celebrating our 20th year anniversary, and we've, it's, uh, we've actually done two books. There's one on Weta Digital, and there's one on our workshop. And awesome. uh, although we've been in business a long, long time, uh, we decided to make the sort of line in the sand the 20 years of Weta. So this is a sort of comprehensive book about going right Right back it. to our childhood. Wow. So, Look at that. Yeah, so, and, um, you know, it's a great way to, uh, to celebrate everyone that's been along for the ride on this crazy, crazy journey. So, Thank you so much for coming on. That's great amazing. Pleasure. You were terrific, and I love the stories. What do you think of Comic Con before I let well, you go? Well, I've never been to New York Comic Con. I was here 15 years ago at the Javits Center for the Toy Fair to launch our collectibles line. And it's taken 15 years to get back to Comic-Con. So I, I'm actually thrilled that we're exhibiting for the first time. And hopefully this will be the first of many, many years to come. So uh, it's great. I love it. Thank you so much for joining us. Sir Richard Taylor, you got to check out Weta. They're amazing, obviously, and you already know them well. We'll be back with a whole lot more right after this from Comic-Con New York. Stay tuned.